What words do people commonly associate with you? Your slogan, so to speak. Hi, I'm Allie Bierman. I'm so glad you stopped by here to join me for a quick note to get you thinking about who are you and what do people associate with you, especially what do you associate with you? You can find me at yourrelationshipintelligence.com. Back in the 1990s, I got my first cell phone. And on my voicemail message, I left the words, be well and happy. In the end, nothing else matters. Well, those words became associated with me. They became my mantra. They became my slogan. And they are how I live. That continues to be the message on my voicemail. And when people hear my voicemail message, they always remark about how much they like it, about how true the words are, and about how powerful the words are. Well, now, I've known people who are well, but not happy. And I've known people who are happy, but not well. And the thing is, neither one is better than the other. And neither one completes a person either. Now here's the big news flash. Your happiness depends on your mindset. Your health also depends on your mindset. The six inches between your ears has the power to create joy and peace through health and happiness. Now being well doesn't mean you're free of illness or injury. Being well means accepting yourself exactly as you are and as you are not. And being content with your situation. And being content, isn't that really what it is to be happy? What is happiness to you? What is your point of view of life? Do you easily see the beauty? Or do you first notice the strife? It's your choice to accept or reject what you hear around you. Take a step back. It will astound you to see clearly through your eyes, only through your mind. When you do your life, Ugh, let's start this again. Okay. What is happiness to you? What? Is your point of view of life? Do you easily see the beauty? Or do you first notice the strife? It's your choice to accept or reject what you hear around you. Take a step back. It will astound you to see clearly through your eyes, only through your when you do, your life will appear just as it is, simply is not good or bad, not happy or sad. Events just happen and here's the great news, you choose how to feel, you choose how to live in each minute. It's your life. Choose to win it. I said it before, and I guess I'll keep reminding you, events just are. They have no meaning, except the meaning you give it, and the meaning you let other people assign for you, rather than think for your self, but you don't live their lives, or maybe you do. You've maybe heard the 
pronouncement, I call it a pronouncement, the kind of sentencing that your life will look just like the life of your five closest friends because you're going to think the same things and like the same things and dislike the same things. But how many of those choices are uniquely yours? If you want to be happy in life and you want to be healthy in life, be aware of how you're working, what's going on up in there, because your mind isn't identical to your friends. Think for yourself. So I want to know, what is happiness to you? Go in down below the video. Tell me, what does happiness mean for you? Not your friend or your spouse or your kids or your parents. For you. And I'll see you here next time.